She wandered down the hall, opening up all the doors, looking in all of them. And I said, you know, like, let's just get out of here. This is not fun anymore. She didn't listen to me, as little sisters seldom do. She got to the end of the hallway. And at the end of the hallway, there's a heavy, thick door that's different from all the other doors in the hallway. I never even had gone that far into the house to explore the room at the end of the hall. And she opened it. And she walked inside. And uh, she disappeared into the darkness. And I'm standing there at the top of the stairs, just waiting for her to come out. And she didn't. There's this sense of something was about to happen that was bad. It started to make my hair on the back of my neck started to stand up. The door closed by itself. I remember really clearly, because it was like an unnatural motion. I don't know how a door could move like that unless someone was pushing it, and it was not her. I was pretty freaked out. I said, Ariana, what's going on? And she didn't answer. And then all of a sudden, 